girls, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Mike Works. And thank you very much for you will like yous and your support. So today, Putaki found another poor families again. So he go to meet Ding Dum and get some interview. And her name, Prok Nim, 82 years old, and her son, Som Nang Nim, 34 years old. So this is a single mother and single son. That is their house, and uh, let's get to uh, their story. What is the stories of this family? So I will uh, share with you guys, and if you guys like it, please help to share the video to everybody can see it, and maybe get some donator and to helping them. They also poor live in Cambodia. So, Prognim, she got three kids, and two of them is the, the girl. And one of them is the boy. Is right now he is the man. Some nine him. He is thirty four years old. And this is uh, their house. And land is not certain for their land. They just build it on there, and it probably to help them out for a living. And they are so poor. So before Samnang, her son, 34 years old, he used to get a good job at Phnom Penh. He is a seller, he sells a motorcycle with his bar, he making good money. But up to his sisters got married, they moved out to another province, he got two sisters and then just left his mom alone. But he just back and forth a few days uh, from Phnom Penh to his village. His village name is Kaka, and he lived in Takeo, Providence. So it is it, so hard for him when his mother got sick, so she got a broken leg, and then she is 82 years old, get uh, confusing, don't know what to do. And sometimes she can walk, sometimes she cannot walk. So when she go to the bathroom, she just cannot go. And then she just using on her bed. This is very hard time for some Nang, it's a young man. And he have to quit that job and to live with his mother. I'm so proud of him and respect he is a good kid. I never heard it. A few kids just like him, but it's not so many. It is an amazing story of some man, 34 years old. He didn't get married yet. Because why? He still remember when he was young, so his mom talked to him, or oh, are you good kid? He said yes. Yeah, when you growing up, you going to take care of me, or you get married and then move out of this village to go somewhere else. And some nun said, yeah, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to get married. I will take care of you because you are my mother and you're working hard to raise me, to feed me, and to take a good care of me. And his word is for real. It's so exciting and respect uh, for him, for this young man. So he remember all the word that why he didn't uh, work anymore. He just quit his good job and move 
back to Kokoh village in Takel province to take care of his mom. He is his mom, but he kind of get the mental problem too because she got the old age, 82 years old, and so lonely. Her daughter more hours the village, go somewhere, so just a uh, one for a while come to visit her. And the boat is not have a well job or make a good living either, but it's hard to travel to spend their money to visit uh, her mom. But only some Nang, he make the final decision to quit his job from Phnom Penh, and then he moved back to leave it his mother to take care of her. It's so difficult, she could not uh, go up to this house either. He had to took that step up and then to prevent his mom climb to uh, up there, you know, on the house, that they, they call it the house. So you can see behind a rusty tin and he built a little room for her to live down there to prevent her to fall off from that step. And that how it wasn't secure either. You can see they build the wall from a super palm leaf and it's not stay for long goose and can be one year or two, they cannot fall off by itself. And even the support pole from the bottom, it damaged too because every year or heavy raining, it flood. You can see the red mark, it flood really high but this is not the flood area either. Why they already know that this is a flood area, why they still stay here? Because they have no place else to go. If the land is very expensive, everything just cost more money, but they so uh, broke and poor because no job available, even labor job like I always mention on every video a Cambodian is the poor people live in Cambodia. And right now get some chain like Butak meeting them and go to help them get some food supply for them. It donate by Mr. Hayne and Mrs. Fun $25 and Mrs. Ree $50. So the food supply it cost less than $50 and whatever the money left over just give to them maybe you can help them a little bit. And thank you very much Mr. Hang and Mrs. Fun and Mrs. Ree for this kindly donate it's uh, a great gift to them because right now they're so broke and no hope because this young man not going to get married too. Right now he's single and because he remember his mom asking him, are you get married and you leave me? Or you going to take care of me back or not? 
and he said, "Yeah, mom, I'm going to take care of you. I'm not g o i n g to get married because you raised me. You're working hard." This word it touched my heart, so I'm so much uh, appreciate and respect to this young man. To the end of this story, thank you very much for your support. And if you would like to help, please share the video. And you haven't subscribed yet, you want to support my channel, my work, please subscribe my channel. And thank you for your watching. And stay tuned. I post video every 6 p.m. at Central Time, every day, and every 6. PM Central Time, they will pop, and you can watch it and every day. If you want to support one more time, please subscribe and click notification bell to get new video upload every 6 PM Central Time. And thank you for viewer like you and your support. We we'll see you on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now. Thank you.